Aerodome is a structural, weatherproof enclosure that protects a microwave antenna. The radome is constructed of material that minimally attenuates the electromagnetic signal transmitted or received by the antenna. In other words, the radome is transparent to radar or radio waves. Radomes protect the antenna surfaces from weather and conceal antenna electronic equipment from public view. They also protect nearby personnel from being accidentally struck by quickly rotating antennas. Radomes can be constructed in several shapes depending upon the particular application using various construction materials. When found on fixed-wing aircraft with forward-looking radar, the nose cones often additionally serve as radomes. On rotary-wing and fixed-wing aircraft using microwave satellite for beyond-line-of-sight communication, radomes often appear as blisters on the fuselage. In addition to protection, radomes also streamline the antenna system, thus reducing drag. Use. Aerodome is often used to prevent ice and freezing rain from accumulating directly onto the metal surface of antennas. In the case of a spinning radar dish antenna, the radome also protects the antenna from debris and rotational irregularities due to the wind. Its shape is easily identified by its hard shell, which has strong properties against being damaged. Equals stationary antennas equals, for stationary antennas, Excessive amounts of ice can detune the antenna to the point where its impedance at the input frequency rises drastically, causing the voltage standing wave ratio to rise as well. This reflected power goes back to the transmitter, where it can cause overheating. A fold back circuit can act to prevent this. However, one drawback of its use is that it causes the station's output power to drop dramatically, reducing its range. Aerodome prevents that by covering the antenna's exposed parts with a sturdy, weatherproof material, typically fiberglass, which keeps debris or ice away from the antenna to prevent any serious issues. One of the main driving forces behind the development of fiberglass as a structural material was the need during World War II for radomes. When considering structural load, the use of a radome greatly reduces wind load in both normal and iced conditions. Many tower sites require or prefer the use of radomes for wind loading benefits and for protection from falling ice or debris. Sometimes radomes may be unsightly if near the ground, and heaters could be used instead. Usually running on direct current, the heaters do not interfere physically or electrically with the alternating current of the radio transmission. Equals radar dishes equals, for radar dishes, a single, large, Ball-shaped dome also protects the rotational mechanism and the sensitive electronics, and is heated in colder climates to prevent icing. The Manwith Hill Electronic Surveillance Base, which includes over 30 radomes, is widely believed to regularly intercept satellite communications. At Manwith Hill, the radome enclosures have a further use in preventing observers from deducing the direction of the antennas, and therefore which satellites are being targeted. The same point was also made with respect to the radomes of the Echelon facilities. The U.S. Air Force Aerospace Defense Command operated and maintained dozens of air defense radar stations in the U.S. including Alaska during the Cold War. Most of the radars used at these ground stations were protected by rigid or inflatable radomes. The radomes were typically at least 50 feet in diameter and the radomes were attached to standardized radar tower buildings that housed the radar transmitter receiver and antenna. Some of these radomes were very large. The CW620 was a space frame rigid radome with a maximum diameter of 150 feet, and a height of 84 feet. This radome consisted of 590 panels, and was designed for winds up to 150 miles per hour. The total radome weight was 204,400 pounds with a surface area of 39,600 square feet. The CW620 Radome was designed and constructed by Sperry Rand Corporation for the Columbus Division of North American Aviation. This Radome was originally used for the FPS-35 search radar at Baker Air Force Station, OR. When the Baker AFS was closed the Radome was moved to provide a high school gymnasium in Payette, ID. Pictures and documents are available online at radomes.org. Museum for Baker AFS 821st Radar Squadron. Equals Maritime Satellites equals. For Maritime Satellite Communications Service, 
microdomes are widely used to protect dish antennas which are continually tracking fixed satellites while the ship experiences pitch, roll and yaw movements. Large cruise ships and oil tankers may have radomes over 3M in diameter covering antennas for broadband transmissions for television, voice, data, and the Internet, while recent developments allow similar services from smaller installations such as the 85 cm motorized dish used in the ASTR A2 Connect Maritime Broadband System. Small private yachts may use radomes as small as 26 cm in diameter for voice and low speed data. Alternatives, an active electronically scanned array is a form of radar installation that has no moving parts as such and in ground-based installations a radome is not necessary. An example of this is the pyramid, which replaced the tourist attraction golf ball style radome installations at RAF filing dials. Notes, example of dented radome, example of helicopter radome, Gordon, J.E., The New Science of Strong Materials, 2nd edition, Pelican. 1976. External links. Photograph of Mount Hebo while active overlooking Pacific Ocean.